Welcome back. We are now a little more than six weeks away from a crucial California vote to recall Governor Gavin Newsom. According to the latest L.A. Times poll, radio host Larry Elder is leading the GOP to replace Newsom if he's recalled. And he joins me now. Larry, this race is getting off uh, to an interesting start, a lot of national attention. Even Massachusetts Democrat Senator Elizabeth Warren getting involved. Listen to this. Here's the deal with the recall of Gavin Newsom. We've seen Trump Republicans across the country attacking election results and the right to vote. Now they're coming to grab power in California, abusing the recall process and costing taxpayers millions. Larry, how do you respond to critics like Warren who say this recall effort is just a Republican power grab at taxpayers' expense? Shows you, Jackie, how how scared they are to bring in the Warren from outside of California uh, to make this attack. Uh, at least uh, I wasn't called a white supremacist the way the Gavin team earlier described the recall effort. After I uh, came into the race, they kind of dropped that one. Uh, notice he didn't defend his record on crime, his record on homelessness, his record on the way he ignored science and shut down the state in a more severe way than any of the other 50 states. Nor did he say anything about the rising cost of housing, which is why, for the first time in the in the state's history, people making between 50 and 100,000 K uh, are leaving California. We have a net migration out of California for the very first time in our nation's history. And notice that Gavin Newsom is nowhere to be found to defend his record. I've been a politician, Jackie, for all of two weeks. I've been up and down the state talking to print, talking to radio, talking to television. And I always say, have you extended an invitation to Gavin Newsom to come on? They always say yes, and he's nowhere to be found. I think he's hiding somewhere in the pantry of the French laundry. Mm -hmm. He cannot defend mm -hmm. his record. Yeah, it's really interesting because Elizabeth Warren didn't discuss any of that. And, and when you talk about oh. crime, homelessness, a state that is facing, you know, very high taxes if you're a resident there, yes, the pandemic might have sped up people leaving, but you are seeing this not only in California, across the country. People are fleeing blue states for red states because their quality of life is just substantially better if they leave. Well, that's right. And notice that she referred to this as a move by Trump Republicans. I'm a Republican. She didn't call uh, me a Mitt Romney Republican or a John McCain Republican or a George W. Bush Republican or a George Herbert Walker Bush Republican. I'm a Republican. I vote for the standard bearer. And whoever he or she is in 2024, I'm going to vote for that person. Uh, again, this shows you how desperate the, they are. Nor did she defend his record on fire suppression. We have four seasons now, winter, fall, spring, summer, uh, and fire. He lied by a factor of seven, Gavin Newsom did, about how many fallen trees he's cleared away, about how many uh, dead vegetation he's cleared away. Even the L.A. Times, normally a friendly newspaper to him, uh, said that he actually lied about how much uh, he cleared. Uh, I, I don't know what he's doing. All I know is that his own sons enjoyed uh, in-school, in-person private education while shutting down uh, private education, shutting down public school education for everybody else. Already, Jackie, 75 percent of black boys in California cannot read at state levels of proficiency. Nearly 50 percent of third graders cannot. And he abided by the teachers' union uh, and shut schools down for an entire year, even after the CDC said that we could resume in-person schooling with certain precautions. The number one funder of Gavin Newsom is the teachers' union. They enjoyed a whole year of, uh, of being paid while doing virtual education. And he's appeared almost on the brink of giving him another year of uh, a paid vacation, essentially, uh, because, again, he's totally beholden to the teachers' union. One of the many things I'm, I'm going to be pushing, if I'm lucky enough to become governor, Jackie, is choice in school. So the money follows the child rather than the other way around. And the teachers' union, adamantly opposed to that, because the teachers will not be automatic members of the teachers' union, and they won't get those automatic dues. It's outrageous the quality of public education uh, black and brown parents are getting in this in this state. Eighty percent of the students, uh, public, school, public school students in California, are black and brown, and they're getting a lousy education. This is really interesting because you're bringing up the coronavirus, his management of it, and it's interesting. We're at what appears to be an inflection point here with the Delta variant, and states are going to take matters into their own hands. Do we choose to move forward, or do we go backward with mask mandates? And California seems to be one of them. And it's curious to me because I see the election is set for September 14th. That's not so far away. Um, some might say that this is sort of a, a political maneuvering stunt to make it more difficult to vote in person. Well, that's right. And the ballots are going to go out as early as August the 14th. So anybody can vote between now and then. Almost September 14th is almost going to be anticlimactic because the voting is going to start so soon. And the reason the, the election is so quick is that at one time, Gavin Newsom poll numbers were up. So all of a sudden, they scheduled the election so quickly. But the polls are now showing the recall part is almost 50 50 right in the margin of error. He is scared. And again, that's why he brought in Elizabeth Warren. Well, who's he going to bring in next? Al Sharpton? 
We'll see. Mm, we will see. What do you say to those who say you're not a career politician? You're an amateur when it comes to this. Look, we've seen many candidates rise to um, great, you know, great power, including the presidency, that haven't been career politicians, and perhaps they've been some of the best. Well, one of the reasons I'm asking people to go to recall, go to go to electelder.com and throw something in the tip jar is because of these allegations. Now, I recall a fellow who came out of Hollywood, uh, and he became a pretty good two-term uh, uh, governor, and then became a pretty good two-term president. His name was Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. In the case of Gavin Newsom, this guy is got all sorts of experience. He was the mayor of San Francisco for eight years. He was lieutenant governor, had all sorts of time to decide what he, what he was going to do if and when he became governor. And now he's been governor for two years. And it's pretty insulting when 2.2 million people have signed a petition to recall this guy, and they call it uh, Trump Republicans. At least a quarter of them are independents and Democrats who just voted for this man just two years earlier. Larry Elder, I just want to thank you for your time. Wonderful to have this conversation with you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.